I knew a guy. He were a Chinaman. Good looking fella. Not from China, mind you. Uh, I think he were French. One night he were uh, having drinks with a friend. And afterwards he went to a bank machine. Someone stabbed him in the back of the neck. Robbed him of just 20 quid. It took him half that time to die. True story. But unfortunately it weren't that quick for Leanne Tiernan. The pretty 16 year old schoolgirl who got off the bus early at the Christmas shopping with a friend and made the fatal mistake of taking a shortcut home. Rule number 22, never take a shortcut home. She walked into a wooded area and never came out again. If you were being poetic, I guess you could say, she walked into the abyss. I don't care too much for poetry. Where is she? What's happened to her? Um, we searched overground, we searched the canal, we searched the river. It was nine months later, when I guess cops got tired of looking for her, that a dog walker found her virtually in the same place that she'd gone missing. The discovery of Leanne's body at the North Yorkshire beauty spot. With zero decomposition and her hands tied behind her back, she'd been beaten, raped, tortured, sodomized and had semen in every hole that you could put it in. Bizarrely, cops figured the killer had kept her in a freezer to keep her fresh. Then he'd take her out, have sex with her, then put her back in like a goddamn TV dinner. Except you can't refreeze those. Says so on the label. But they also found on the body, or should I say in the body, red carpet fiber and dog hair. So they now knew they were looking for a nunce with red carpet and a dog. Now all investigators had to do was track down every dog owner in the area and discovered that there were 170 regulars to that area who walked their dog. So they started interviewing them one by one. Meet John Taylor, who said he no longer had a dog. He'd given it away a long time ago and he'd never been to the place where Leanne's body were found. First thing that struck police, where he was sweating, sweating like a rapist and a killer. And as they were leaving, one of them noticed that there had once been red carpet in the living room. This were enough evidence for police to dig up Taylor's backyard, and surprise, surprise, they found a freezer and the dog he said he'd given away. What makes it more bizarre was that the dog were buried alive. <laughs> Must have been in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, and of course Taylor denied it, I'm gonna, I'm but he had nowhere to, to turn. Even the ties he'd used to strangle the child he'd got from his work. Not at all, you Almost a year since 16-year-old Leanne Tiernan from Leeds went missing. Police investigating her murder arrested a The girl in the freezer. Police say it were overwhelming evidence that led them to the killer of Leanne Tiernan. But if they had to narrow it down to one thing, one absolute, it were the dog hairs they found in Leanne's knickers. His supposed best friend that he buried alive. I guess every dog has his day.